Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to play different footstep sounds when you walk on different objects. I did this previously using triggers and that didn't work out so well. This time we're going to be using the player's character controller to check what is hitting and play the right sound. As you can see I've got two objects with textures of wood and metal. This one is tagged as wood so I suggest you do that first and this one is metal. Now if you don't know if you've got how to do a tag, click on this option over here, then add tag at the bottom. Also, I'll tell you right now that to add a tag called terrain, so we can use it in a minute. Okay, so the first thing I actually am gonna do is create the train itself. So create train. The reason to this is people have been asking me how do you get sound effects to play on terrains? And I'm gonna show you that now. So it's a bit too big still. I'm going to set the resolution quickly. I actually don't care about the textures right now. So I'm just going to add something though. So I won't get confused what he's want. It's going to add a quick, simple grass texture to this 50 by 50. And this should be alright. Gravel. Okay, save it. Now let's create the script we need for this. So right click on your FPS script folder and create a new JavaScript. Call this walk sound. Walking sound, sorry. Walking sounds. Double click and open more develop. Alright, uh, we don't want program strict or function start. Let's define the variables we need. The first one's going to be var audio timer with a type float is going to be equals to zero. Next one's going to be var wood sound. It's going to be type audio clip. Next one's going to be var metal sound it's going to be a type audio clip as well this one's pretty straightforward um, in the update we just want to check the timer so make sure it can't go be of uh, less than zero or above zero so as soon as it goes above zero count down back to zero s audio I put audio timer that's my fault sorry so we're going to say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace if open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace save it basically what we're going to say is audio timer is greater than zero then you guessed it audio timer minus equals time dot delta time next one audio timer is less than zero then audio timer equals zero that's the first part done now for the extra collision detection from an object to an object for this like I said we're going to be using something called on controller collider hit which is built in with unity so function on controller collider hit open bracket call this is going to be the variable checking for collision it's going to be a type controller collider hit open bracket sorry close bracket open curly brace and close the curly brace now let's start checking what we're hitting. So we're going to say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace. I'm going to say if call dot game object dot compare tag open bracket close bracket speech marks and I'm going to say would. So if we hit an object would do something and and input dot get axes open bracket close bracket speech marks vertical 
that's your WS and up and down arrow keys and N audio um, equals equals zero or it's gonna separate this easy to read just copy from here all the way up to audio timer and make sure you place it after the all so it's something like that and put this as horizontal okay that's that done and then we're just going to say over here audio dot clip equals wood sound audio dot play sound oops play one shot sorry open bracket close bracket closing semicolon um, wood sound in this and uh, inside this which is, that's fine yeah okay at the end all we're going to do is we're going to say audio timer is equals to 0 0.4 and that should wait literally four seconds before it loops the sound again so it won't sound it won't overlap itself basically copy this one more time paste it down here call this one metal metal sound for this one and metal sound in this and copy this once again and paste it here and turn this to terrain so so if you walk in the terrain play the wood sound for now you can have whatever sound you want for tutorial purposes I'm just going to put wood sound save it go back back into unity let it update make sure we got no errors yes we have uh, where is metal sound sound there it's supposed to be metal sound not metal sound sound all right it's gone add this script onto your main player uh, add sounds I've got the sounds already so dirt the next one is metal sound got it also on the main player you want to add an audio source so go to component audio and audio source and you're done so let's find out if this works so there's the wood there's the metal if I walk on the wood I should get the wood sound excellent that's if I'm pressing the D it comes a s and W up up and down and left right and arrow keys work as well all right metal works oh if you do notice that I'm going to be teaching you also the the dot for the laser sight because you can see in this it also blinds the enemies if they have the right things attached to the camera which we'll be covering very soon but now for the main one does it work with the terrain yes it does No, it doesn't. Hold on. Did I tag it? Nope, I didn't tag it. Uh, tag your train as train. Save it and do that now. So you know the wood and metal works. The main one's just that one there. There you go. That's how you get sound to come up from a train. Alright, so that concludes this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the laser pointer dot. And then after that, after that, the elevator. So, as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Peace out.